dear students welcome to the e learn hello i am navdeep working as pgtip in cambridge international school this year students uh, in the series of uh, database concepts so we will go through few more terms today so first of all we will have a look at what we have covered earlier so we have started the database concepts so i already told you that the database is very vital for all the organizations this is the overall marks composition so till now students we have covered what is database what is the role of database what is dbms software is and what are the key concepts in dbms so first of all have a look at what we have covered till now so first we go through the dbms it is a software so it manages different tasks for a user like to create a database to store and manage database update modify and retrieve the data from the database for the user we have different types of uh, databases uh like open source and commercial dbms so few of the examples are listed here so this is the overall picture that we have so here we discussed uh, that uh, what are the different uh, applications of databases in real life barring it all the uh, uh, different areas of industries like airlines railways banking insurance and so on name any organizations so they will be using the database now the database schema what is this this is a basically structure clear the very first step is to create the structure like for building the very first step is to create the structure for the building here we took the example of so Uh, here we took the example of uh, a school and we discussed that the teachers and different stakeholders of this uh, school like uh, office uh, staff and uh, students they all use the uh, student database clear for attendance purpose marks purpose updating their guardian information student information and so on like their fees so this the example we took here moving next we covered uh, one more uh, important uh, concept that is database constraint constraints are nothing but they are conditions in real life also you know that nothing is done uh, without constraints like uh, we uh, give the constraint to the students that if you have 75% attendance in your classes then you can appear for the final exam clear so like this like we took the example of mobile number that mobile number it should cons consist of 10 digits not 9 not 11 and so on so this is what we have constraints in a database their aim is to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the database metadata is the data about data that is also called the data dictionary then we discussed about the database instance you know that database is not a static thing so like you go to a bank at 9 o'clock uh, the state of your uh, account is different you make a transaction at 9:30 so your uh, database uh, uh, transaction is updated and it has a new instance let's say at 11:30 you make another transaction so the database instance are making uh, gets changes from time to time whenever a certain changes or transactions takes place query so this is the very vital concept of the database when we try to fetch the information from uh, database may contain in one table or multiple tables so that is what the uh, retrieval of required information from the database is what we have a query students uh, then we discussed about the data manipulation it is uh, the data updation deletion and modification so these are the uh, three important parts so what we do in the data manipulation insertion deletion and updation like we took the example of the student and guardian tables database engine that is at the back end uh, that is very important component for running our queries and retrieval and manipulation of the data in the database 
then students uh, uh, we discuss the relational model because we are here to discuss the relational rdbms so what are the key constituents of a relational model so we discussed the example uh, that where we took uh, the example of three tables where all these uh, uh, three tables are related to each other like guardian table contains the information about the guardian their guardian id name their phone number and address then the student table contains the uh, student roll number student name student date of birth and their guardian information and uh, we can fetch um, uh, the information from all the three combined uh, tables also like uh, we want to say that this guardian with this mobile number whose uh, um, uh, child is studying uh, in this class with this name and his attendance is this much so for this we need to combine or join all three tables that is what the basis for a relational table relation is what a, a table is called a relation or, or, or a row and column combination is called a relation then we described about the uh, relation scheme here uh, we were discussing that we were having a student table with the roll number as a, a primary key then attendance table and then a guardian table with guardian id as a primary key so here students you can see that what a tuple is basically a tuple is basically a row or a record so here you can see that this particular uh, these attributes combined together and uh, these are the uh, records in that very database and this is g phone that is guardian phone number this is a attribute so here how many uh, sorry go to the previous slide so here how many attributes are there so students here are basically one two three four attributes are there they are also called columns they are called the attributes also so in the guardian relation we have four attributes and five tuples are there or five records are there or five rows are there where guardian id is unique no two guardians can have a unique uh, same id clear so the guardian id guardian name guardian mobile number and guardian address so this is the state of a relationship that we have student uh, moving forward uh, in the relational model the very first thing now next we are to focus is the attribute now question is what is the attribute is the characteristics or parameters for which data are to be stored in a relation simply stated the columns of a relation are the attributes which are referred to as fields they are also known as field students so like the example like uh, you see in the earlier um, uh, table we were having guardian id guardian name guardian phone number address these are the attributes of the relation guardian so attribute is a column and they are also called as field also so we have to we get familiar with the terminology that we use in the relational model next is the relational data model the second uh, term here we use is tuple tuple is a record clear we have seen that uh, when all the columns are combined together they formulate a tuple so each row of a data in a relation is called a tuple moving forward students uh, the next term that we use here is a degree so what is a degree is the number of attributes in a relation is called the degree of relation so the uh, the relation that we discussed guardian that is having the four attributes guardian id guardian name guardian address and guardian mobile number so degree is the how many uh, um, attributes are there or fields are there in a table or a relation table and relation because these are the synonyms cardinality the number of tuples so we have seen in the, in the in the example there were five tuples were there so how many tuples are there that is known as the cardinality of that very relation moving forward students uh, uh, a relation is having three important properties very vital part what are these three properties are there so starting with the first one the very first property of a relation is that a relation imposes the following rules of an attribute of the relation so what are the rules for a attribute each attribute in the relation has a unique name so no two attributes should have a same name like in the guardian uh, relation we were having guardian id guardian name guardian address guardian mobile number so these are the unique name of those attributes the second property about the attributes is 
that sequence of attributes in the relation is immaterial any any uh, attribute can first come then uh, any attribute can come at second position or third position or so on so the sequence of the attributes in the relation is immaterial for us so these are the two important properties of a relation related to the attributes students so look at the second property so this property number 2 governs the following rules on a tuple of relation now the what are the rules first we discuss the rules on the uh, attributes now we are going to follow the rules on the tuples tuple is a what a row is or a record each tuple in a relation is distinct for example uh, the data values in the two tuples of the relation attendance can be identical for all the attributes thus each tuple of a relation must be uniquely identified by its contents so students uh, are like um, we we'll discuss first the guardian so in the guardian the id i told you each id for each guardian is is different so basically what is the important thing that we want to say here that we should be able to identify each tuple or each row or each record distinctly so for that there should be something unique in each tab so this is the rule that we apply on the tuple side very important and this is done with the help of like uh, we ensure the primary key in each relation the second property is sequence of tuple in relation is immaterial as the sequence of attributes is immaterial similarly the sequence of tuple is also immaterial any row can appear at any location the tuples are not considered to be ordered even though they appeared in a tabular form so uh, they need not to be ordered they should not follow a sequence like row number 1 then 2 then 3 like 4 so this is not a constraint on the tuples in a relation so students uh, first we have done the first property on attributes second property is on tuples so we move to the third and very another very vital property 